Hello everyone, this is going to go over a simple for loop example, so uh, I like to start with a comment saying what the script is for. If you're getting into MATLAB, clear all, close all, CLC are good commands to use at the beginning of each of your scripts. Clear all clears your workspace, gets rid of all the variables that are saved in memory, close all, close all figures, and CLC clears the command window. This is useful for keeping output from previous scripts from confusing either your program or you when you run your new script. So you're not calling old variables that were defined in, in an older script but weren't defined in the new script or you not look at figures that you already plotted and thinking that they're the output of the current script that you're running. Okay, so a simple for loop is shown here. Uh, to use in here we got a few constants. Uh, we start with a counter. I call it ct underscore one is equal to 1. That's how I like to define counters. Where I do ct underscore 1. If the next counter I'll use ct underscore 2 and the next one ct underscore 3, so on and so on and so on. Uh, this I find this to be more useful than say starting with A and going A is a counter, B is a counter, C is a counter, D is a counter, and working my way through the alphabet or using random names. I used to use uh, Looney Tune character names as counters and it just gets really confusing because you can't figure out what is, is doing what in the script. Alright, so then we define two constants, m and b. We're going to solve an equation, y equals mx plus b, standard linear equation. Uh, so the for loop, the meat of the, the script is here. So we have 4 x equal to 1 colon 0 0.5 colon 10. So this means we're going to, the loop is going to start at x equal to 1, run through the loop, then go to x equal to 1.5, run through the loop, go to x equal to 2, run through the loop. So we're marching from the beginning number, in this case it's 1, to the ending number, in this case it's 10, by the middle number. So we're going to go from 1 to the last number by the middle number. And then I have a little x, I call it x store of ct1 is equal to x. This just allows me to store, store the x value that I'm using in the for loop uh, so that I can plot it later. And I'm using this counter to build the array of, of the x store value. Then I say y of ct1, so y of, of the number in the array is equal to mx plus b. And then I increase the counter ct1 by 1 each time the loop runs. Normally you would want to create array, an array of zeros, the size of x store or, and y. Just it'll make your script run much faster if if you're doing large loops. It'll it'll be much faster. You don't have to, but it'll give you this error if you don't if you don't do that. It'll give you this error that says the variable x store appears to change size every loop iteration. Consider pre-allocating for speed. Then uh, so I, I just included a simple plotting bit of script to uh, to show you the output. So we say we open a figure, we plot x store and y using black stars. K is for black, h is for star. And then we label the two axes. x label is, is x and y label is y. And then we can get a figure that looks like this. I cut off the bottom. And we have x labeled on the bottom, y labeled here, and our linear line uh, traversing up as x travels to from, from 1 to 10 by 0 0.5. So this is a basic introduction into for loops. I hope you find this useful and have a good day.